The Renaissance is considered the bridge between the Middle Ages and modern history. It was the end of the medieval era, the freeing of individual thoughts and imagination, and the flowering of thousands of ideas and creations. What followed was the Enlightenment, the Industrial Revolution, and technology and freedom that transformed our world forever. And I believe we are in the midst of a second renaissance of sort, a digital renaissance. And this digital renaissance empowers us as individuals. It empowers our dreams, our ideas, our skills, and gives us the tools to translate them into reality. We are rethinking what we value and how we can leverage technology to move value quicker, smarter, and safer than ever before. Today, we're on a new frontier of what could be the largest transformational period in history with digital currency. Right now, this very minute, artists, conservationists, entrepreneurs, collectors, game developers, comic book fans, people who want to move value across the world without roadblocks, people like you, are imagining how to build, create, and use Tezos in new and unexpected ways. And I know I joined the dedicated users around the world when I say that Tezos has never been more ready to lead this movement and drive social, political, and economic innovation on a global scale. When Tezos launched in 2018, we knew there would be mountains to climb for the projects on the road ahead. And the truth is, we didn't just overcome adversity, Tezos has made tremendous strides. As we focus on the path forward, building on the extraordinary momentum of the past three months, I have never felt more excited for its future than I do today. That is why I would like to speak with you today about what Tezos is what we have accomplished, and where we're going. Tezos is built on a revolutionary idea. The idea is that technological innovations and upgrades should not be controlled by an informal oligarchy. That responsibility and decision-making authority should belong in the hands of the token holders. As many of you know, some of the major first-generation blockchains platforms um, have differences of, and divisions among their community when making those incredibly important decisions of how the project will grow and how the protocol will evolve. And division can be normal, but the lack of formal consensus can produce a reliance on hard forks for governance. And when a hard fork happens, users are forced to make a decision based entirely on social expectations, not on the merit of a proposal. Forks only offers a choice of following the herd or carrying on with an abandoned network. It's illusory. The beauty of Tezos is that it thrives when cryptocurrencies are not cults of personality, but pillars of world commerce. The goal with Tezos was to reconcile upgrades with decentralization, move away from hard forks as decision-making mechanisms that breed centralization and group sync. To do so, Tezos institutes a self amending ledger where upgrades to the protocol require an 80% approval from token holders. Token holders should always have an opportunity to clearly express their preference for innovations, rather than trying to guess what other people might prefer. It's a subtle distinction that makes a world of difference. Tezos is built for the long term. But even more than that, it's built to remain state of the art. Its modular architecture and self-upgrade mechanism minimize disruptions while offering regular upgradability and improved functionality. This design gives Tezos the unique ability to avoid far-reaching, sweeping changes and instead allows for smart, pragmatic, incremental improvements over time. Uh, Gavin Wood, the creator of Polkadot and co-founder of Ethereum, captures this well when he said, and I quote, people expect automatically upgrading apps with a minimum of fuss. And it won't be too long before people realize, maybe we should make a blockchain that does that as well. If you do it this way, then you can stay ahead of the curve. You can stay on top of technological development. But as far as I know, uh, at the moment, Tezos is the only one that kind of has this kind of functionality." End quote. He's right. It is this early design decision that is allowing Tezos to grow and adapt to the needs of users having upgraded already six times with a seventh upgrade soon to come. No other blockchain has been upgraded as quickly 
as seamlessly or as much as Tezos has in the past three years. To be clear, this is not about creating a utopian participation model, dreaming of democracy or worse, cargo culting bureaucratic processes. This is about preventing social attack vectors to create the most secure and sustainable platform possible. The framework upon which Tezos was designed, proof of stake, secure smart contracts, and a self amending ledger all give credible prospects for longevity. Tezos's low energy consumption and low gas fees are one of the many reasons why this project is quickly becoming recognized as the best, most responsible place to mint, host, and trade clean NFTs. From trading cards, artwork, uh, limited edition albums from well-known artists, NFTs have exploded in popularity over the past few months. This has opened the floodgates for a new type of brand storytelling and consumer interaction that was previously impossible. Because Tezos doesn't consume vast amounts of energy to secure itself, it doesn't suffer from the inflationary pressure experienced by other cryptocurrencies. The energy efficiency of the Tezos protocol has also been a new source of adoption. The congestion, high cost, inaccessibility, and above all, the perceived environmental impact of creating NFTs on other networks have caused millions of creators and consumers to either miss out or, or look for a greener blockchain alternative to mint NFTs. Many artists who hold valid concerns about climate change have flocked to projects like Hey Get Nunk and are finding Tezos to be an energy-efficient alternative. In the months of May alone, Tezos has made extraordinary strides in the NFT world. Recently, Red Bull Racing chose Tezos as the team's official blockchain to build its first ever NFT fan experience. Similar to Formula One, Tezos is constantly evolving with the very latest industry advancements. By design, again, Tezos uses a more energy-efficient approach to secure its network which means it can operate cleanly with minimal energy consumption. Sustainability is not sacrifice for security, it coexists as a default. And that's why Red Bull Racing chose Tezos, a sustainable blockchain, to issue their NFTs. What's more, I could not be more excited that Tezos is connecting our world through music. One Off, a music-based NFT platform backed by Quincy Jones, announced that they're building their marketplace on Tezos. The platform will feature NFTs from artists including John Legend, the late Whitney Houston, TLC, Charlie Puth, Doja Cat, g Easy, Jacob Collier, Aurora, Alesso, and even more musicians to come. These two huge developments are a testament to the sustainability and security of Tezos, and it's a clear sign that its popularity is rapidly growing around the world. In May, Tezos' network activity reached nearly 1.5 million contract calls beating our previous all-time high for 10 months in a row. More than 100,000 clean NFTs have been minted on Tezos. And just last week, Tezos had over 283,000 transactions within just 24 hours. That's just shy of a quarter of the amount of transactions on Ethereum. I believe the growth we're seeing is just the beginning. With the involvement of these icons of sports and music, millions more entertainers, artists, and consumers around the world will be impacted by Tezos. Just think about this impact. Immediately following the announcement with Red Bull, the team won at Monaco, the crown jewel of F1 racing. And this week, Red Bull Racing won again in Azerbaijan, which hired 950,000 viewers around the world, making it the most watched race this season. Last month, Doja Cat broke the record for the most monthly streamers by a female rapper in Spotify history. With more people adopting Tezos, and more people discovering its capabilities, scaling has never been more important. And we need to take action so that Tezos does not become a victim of its own success. There can be no scalability without the ability to grow and adapt. Tezos' perpetually evolving protocol designs mean it can meet new demands or requirements, making it nearly endlessly adaptable. We will need to capitalize on these trends in the coming months. I will be offering my thoughts in another recording soon regarding ways in which we can address those technological challenges and navigate through this incredibly exciting and momentous time. Again, we cannot let Tezos fall victim to its success. As volume continues to grow exponentially, we must focus on scalability immediately. 
and we're counting on the entire Tezos community to push us in this direction. I'm particularly passionate about these new tests for Tezos because they represent the project's true capability beyond simple transactions. As I've said before, cryptocurrencies are social constructs. The algorithm is just a scaffolding upon which human activities come to life. Yes, there are algorithms, hard mathematics, cryptography at play, but in the end, Tezos is about supporting human interaction. Now, more than ever, people are seeing that Tezos is more than just a digital currency. It's more than just smart contracts. It's an enabler of social structure. And these new initiatives in a gaming, art, and entertainment world demonstrate where Tezos is evolving and leveraging the blockchains in ways the world has never seen. It's battle-tested, proven, and fueled by dedicated users who enable this project to evolve and adopt the innovations of tomorrow without shouldering the network problems of today. So, as this digital renaissance continues to unfold, let's keep delivering a track record of fulfilled promises. Let's keep building on our strengths and the success we've seen as pioneers of proof of stake. And Tezos will continue to be at the forefront of adaptability and innovation. This is a platform like no other, a chain designed from the very beginning, not for the select few, not for the well-connected, not for the wealthy only, not to be controlled by figureheads, but for anyone from anywhere of any background to actively participate in its evolution and success. And that's history in the making. That's the best blockchain in the world. That's Tezos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and notify for more videos.